Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm so happy that you took a second to check us out. And if you've been here for a while, thank you so much for your continued support. It truly means so much to my family and I. So for those of you that maybe are stopping by for the first time, my name is Sky, and my husband Chad and I own an online interior decor shop called House and Home. And over on this channel, we love to share all things home from DIYs to decor hauls, decorating ideas, and so much more. Today, we are gonna be decorating, and I am so excited. This is my first spring decorate with me of the season, and we're gonna be starting in my kitchen, which is like the heart of our home. We spend so much time in this room. I honestly feel like I live in the kitchen, making all the meals and all the snacks all the time for my three kids, and then doing dishes on repeat all day long. This is my space and I love to make it feel like a place that I want to be in because I have to be in here. And so we're gonna add some spring elements. We're not gonna go crazy in this space because I like to keep it just pretty neutral, but I'm gonna add in a couple of pops of green and I think it's gonna be really pretty. And then we're gonna move into our dining room, which is where you're going to see uh, the majority of the decorating happening in this video. We have a coffee bar in there and I'm just ready to completely redo that and just decorate it up for spring. I have some really good ideas and a few new pieces that I've picked up. So I'm so excited about that. And then I'm gonna do a spring tablescape. So I hope you love this. I hope it gives you some decor inspiration. Let me know in the comments below if you have started decorating for spring and if not, when you plan on starting. I feel like when the sun is shining, I'm feeling so inspired, especially at the change of season where I'm just ready to say goodbye to winter and hello to spring. So that's what we're doing in this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. A lot of the pieces that I'm gonna be styling my kitchen with today are from our shop and some of them are pieces that we carried long ago and we don't sell anymore and then some of them are still current in the shop so i'll be sure to leave links for you all in the description below for the pieces that are still available i love styling our diy peg rail shelf my husband built this for me and it's one of my favorite little spots in our kitchen i really like to keep the decor pretty neutral and simple in this space because it is a space, like I said before, that I am in all day and it really is the center of our home location wise and just where we tend to gather. So when it feels cluttered, my mind feels cluttered and I get stressed. And so I really like to keep this space as crisp and clean as possible. With that being said, I am definitely the type of person that likes to clean up after each meal and each snack and just keep my kitchen counters as clean as possible. But I know that not everybody is like that and there's no right or wrong, but I really am curious and wanting to know, do you tend to let the dishes just gather on your counters or in your sink throughout the day and just do one big dishwashing session at the end of the day or do you prefer to kind of clean as you go. So leave me a comment down below and let me know which you prefer. our kitchen more and more each day and with each little project that we do to make it feel more like our own we're actually getting ready to do another project in here we are planning to build a hood to take the microwave out and have a beautiful hood that is stained the same color as our fireplace it's going to add just like 
a beautiful pop of color and then also just give you that really pretty focal point when you're looking in here and so it's not all just white and so I'm so excited about that we'll of course bring you all along on that journey but I really love how the kitchen turned out I love the simplicity of it that it is more of a minimal decorating approach and uh, just very very clean looking and definitely crisp and inviting as well. Now we are gonna move into the dining room. I think you're gonna notice kind of an overall overarching theme as I'm decorating my home for spring this year. I'm really wanting to create a bright and airy look. And this isn't really much different than I typically decorate my home. I love to have a space that I enjoy being in. I think that is so important when you're thinking about how you want to style your home, what colors you want to use, what patterns, uh, what textures you want to have in your home. I think that ultimately really all that matters is what you and your family think because you are the ones living in your home. And not only do I live here of course, but I also work from home a lot. So I spend the majority of my days at home and so I want to create a space that is is kind of just like that safe haven that feels uh, just so cozy and inviting to all of us. So this is where I landed. I'm using lots of whites. I'm gonna be using some pops of green and some wood tones as well. I am so excited about this tablescape that I am getting ready to put together for you guys now. I am using a new table runner that I picked up at Target from the Hearth and Hand collection and it is so beautiful. It's got some grays in it and then white and then it does have a little bit of fringe on the edges. I love this one because it's oversized. It is a lot deeper than most table runners and I really like that because I feel like I can do more with my center piece when I have a wider uh, table runner. I also purchased this really pretty olive plant from Target and I'm using one of the stoneware pears from our shop and I'm going to put this little cloche over it. I think it just adds a little bit of character and dimension to this centerpiece and I do just love that it's showcasing that pear. I think it's so cute and perfect for spring. I also threw a little pitcher in there and my basket is from Target too. This is my favorite basket that I have bought in a long time. It is so cute. It's been traveling all over my house. And then I got this little platter from the Target dollar spot. I think it was $5. It's really cute. It has a little bunny on the handle and then just a few dishes on top. I think this is so beautiful. And now I'm moving over to my hutch. I really didn't change too much out, but I did grab these little eggs from Amazon. They're just little wooden eggs. They were super inexpensive and I thought they'd add just like a little pop of color into that space which is so cute I love the contrast I'm adding in a lot of just white pieces into my hutch because there are so many different openings and different areas that I can add decor to and I think it can be overwhelming really fast if I start adding lots of color and texture I have played around with this hutch so many times and I I found that just personally, I like to put more neutral pieces in there with little pops of wooden pieces as well. You saw my little rolling pins in the picture and then one of my little serving platters had some wood on the end as well, but I try to kind of space it out. So if I have one spot that has just white dishes, then I'll find another spot to be able to add just a little bit of color to, to balance everything out.
I'm so pleased with how all of this looks right now. I'm going to give you guys kind of a pan of this room and our playroom in a little bit. And you can just see how everything is just very cohesive. You have the stems in a couple of different spots. We've got some in the kitchen, dining room, and in the playroom. So it all just flows so nicely with lots of whites. We've got some different baskets and the wooden tones again. It just is so dreamy on a sunny day with the sunlight pouring into our house and honestly just feels like a cozy retreat. <music> Gonna let the sun shine in the day I'm trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors And I'll sing until my lungs give out mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day And I will leave my windows open So that I can hear the sound of decorate my coffee bar, I wanted to thank Globin for sponsoring this portion of today's video. If you're not familiar with Globin, Globin is a subscription box of fair trade goods from artisans all around the world. What I love so much about Globin and what is so special about them and really sets them apart is that they are able to support these artisans in remote communities. And these artisans are making quality products. I am so excited to share my box with you. I chose the Mocha box and I doubt that comes as a surprise to many of you because so many of you know that I just love my coffee. I wanna show you guys what is inside if you order the Mocha box. So one of the things that drew me to this box is the theme of it. So every box has a specific theme and everything just like looks so cohesive and you guys know that that is something that I love when I'm decorating my home. And so I love that the patterns and the colors just go together so well. I'm really excited to start decorating. So let me show you what I have inside my box. The first thing that just really drew my eyes in and I knew I had to grab was this beautiful coffee mug. The detail on this is just absolutely amazing. I love the coloring. This is a sturdy mug too. I can already tell that it's just such great quality. And guess what came with it? A coffee scoop. You guys know I love coffee scoops. I think they're so cute. And I love that, again, they match. They've got that black and white coloring. And then I love the wood portion of the coffee scoop as well. I think it just uh, is going to be so cute. I have like an exact idea and picture in my mind of how I'm going to be decorating these on my coffee bar in just a few minutes. So I can't wait to show you. And then, of course, with this being a mocha box, we've got ingredients to make a mocha so it came with some whole coffee beans the flavor is chocolate spicy full bodied so excited about this so we are gonna have to grind some of these beans up and try this coffee and then of course it came with some chocolate cocoa and i cannot wait to open this up and also the tin is like so cute but one thing that i noticed when i was going through my box i was looking at everything and checking it out is that on the back of this, it says that it's fair trade cocoa grown by family farmers in Ghana. So you know exactly where this is coming from. And I think that's so cool. And then there's no artificial flavors, all natural ingredients, 100% pure cocoa butter, no palm or soy. And I love that so much. I cannot believe like what you get in a box for the value. It is incredible. And 
Globin is giving you guys a special offer. I'm going to have it linked down in my video description below. So all you'll have to do is click on that link to get started and I'll have all of the details down there as well. But essentially you can get 50% off of your first box when you sign up for a three month subscription. And like I said, each box is totally customizable. So you can choose which box you want. There's so many different cute options. So I hope you guys will really Really go and check this out but there's one more thing in my box that I've been saving that I just have to show you now how cute is this throw blanket you guys know that I'm a sucker for fringe detail on just about anything so I immediately fell in love with this but I also love the pattern and the coloring on this I think is so beautiful and it's a really good full-sized throw I'm actually gonna put this in our playroom I think that's gonna be so cute and I'll tie in with some of the black and white elements that we have in there all right, I cannot wait any longer. I am so excited for you guys to see what I have in store for my coffee bar. I think this is going to be my favorite setup yet in this space. The first piece is going to be the focal point of this coffee bar, and this is a beautiful wreath that I found at Target. I'm also going to be using our Let's Stay Home banner that we just launched on our site, so I'll have that listed down below for you guys, and then the hobnail mugs that are also from our shop. They're out of stock right now, but we are restocking them very soon, and I found the cutest little bunny cake stand from Target. In the dollar spot it was either three or five dollars but super affordable and here i am with my super cute mug and wood spoon from globin now i'm going to be putting up a few picture frames and i think they are the perfect addition to our little shelf up there this is my favorite way that i have ever styled this space and i think it's going to be a while before i change it this is the first time that I've really used the shelf that my husband built up here. I've been waiting to find the perfect frames to go up there and oh my goodness, I love, love, love being able to look at those family photos that we had taken shortly before Christmas. It's feels like it's time for more because the kids grow so fast, but oh my goodness, am I going to enjoy this space. Do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on I put my feet up and we just sing along And I can't help but feeling I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? Now it's time to try out this coffee. I have been so excited about this. It is about one o'clock in the afternoon and I have just really been loving a cup of afternoon coffee so much lately. So this is such a treat and I am so excited because it smells amazing. I just ground up my coffee beans and I'm adding that to my coffee maker here. And then I'm also going to add in just a little bit of the cocoa. I feel like that's just gonna add some extra flavor. It's going to taste so good. So I put about a quarter of a scoop in there and I think it turned out perfectly. So I would definitely recommend trying that. And then I also grabbed my Oatly and I put that in my little frother and got my milk frothed up. Now, if you want to and you want this drink to be extra chocolatey, you could even add some of that cocoa powder to your oat milk. That was something I just didn't even think of in the moment, but I'm definitely going to try that next time. So that's all frothed up. I'm gonna add that delicious creamy milk and give this a try. You guys, it was amazing. This is the cutest mug. I absolutely love it. I think it's gonna just forever sit on that little cake stand. It looks so cute in my coffee bar. 
Okay friends, that is all for today's video. I hope you got loads and loads of decor inspiration from this one. Make sure you go and check out my video description and head over to Globin. Check them out. I've got the link down below. You guys get 50% off of your first box as long as you sign up for a three month subscription and all of the information is down there. They're just such an amazing company and I'm so happy that I got to to partner with them for today's video. I look forward to seeing you all next time. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I would love to see you all in my next video where I'm going to be featuring some new arrivals from House and Home. I'll see you then. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. Trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors And I'll sing until my lungs give out mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day And I will leave my windows open So that I can hear the sound of